welcome bow makers. Welcome back for part three of our layered booty care bow. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and line our alligator clip. So I have just a plain alligator clip and I like to start with putting glue on. I open it up and put glue on the inside. And I've cut my ribbon already. It's four and a half inches wide. This is three eighths inch wide ribbon. Sorry, three eighths inch wide ribbon cut to four and a half inches long, not wide. And then we're going to go ahead and glue this part. Fold that over. And then we can, then I usually glue the top piece here, kind of do it in a few different steps since the glue dries so quickly. That's just how I have come to, to do it. Now I'm going to fill the whole rest of this piece. I know it's hard to see because it's white, but I'm going to fill the whole rest of the piece with glue. And then I can fold, I fold it inside the clip where you pinch and then come around. So it goes inside there and then on the bottom. So now you should have your lined alligator clip. So I have 7 8 inch wide ribbon here to make my knot for the center of my bow. And you're just going to fold your ribbon into this type of shape and then tuck one end up into the hole there and just pull and you can kind of, this is thicker ribbon so it is a little, not tricky, but works a little different than the thinner ribbon. So however you like your knot to be, it can be any shape. So we're just going to stick with that one. Okay, so now to assemble our bow. We're going to take our two loop bow, attach it to our big girl bow, just like that. And then we're just going to wrap the wire around it. I'm not even going to glue it. I'm just going to wrap the wire around it like that. Go to the back and pull on those wires to make them nice and tight. And I'm going to pull them together. My pliers are messing up. Pulling them together. And then we're just going to cut off our extra. Fold it in. And then again, like we did before, we're just going to flatten that all together already pretty flat but it'll still squeeze it a little bit more okay so that's the the our bow the ribbon part of our bow now we're just gonna add our center and so I'm just gonna it's gonna wrap around like this just like that and so what I'm gonna do is actually put a dot of glue right there in the middle just a little because you don't want it to come out especially on the front of your bow and then just, just to hold that in place while we get everything else wrapped around. And then I'm actually going to turn it over and I go ahead and attach my alligator clip right here to the back. And so for this one, you do want to put a decent amount of glue because you want it to stick, but we are going to wrap the ribbon around it. So I'm just going to lay that right across there and hold it for a second. Okay, and then we're going to wrap, you're just going to go ahead and squeeze the, the ribbon tight around the side so that now you can pull on these and pull them out to, to fluff them and kind of get it where you want there. And then you're going to go to the back and attach the, the knotted ribbon to the back of the you're going to pinch open your alligator clip and lay your first side in like that and then go ahead and cut off the extra and then we're going to go ahead and glue our other side of the knot right on top of that. Push that down 
and then trim up our extra. I have a lot of extra on that knot ribbon. Okay, and then just really quickly, I'm going to hold back all of the bows and I'm just going to run my lighter over that piece right there, just kind of seals it in there. Then when you turn it around, now you can go back to fluffing and getting it how you want it. And there you have it. A really cute um, layered boutique bow, so easy to do. Um, once you know these two basic um, bow making loops, you can um, add all kinds of cool combinations of ribbons um, to make this bow. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment if there's a bow that um, you're wanting me to show you how to make. Thanks again. See you next time.